take two. So I just did something dumb. I just spent 42 minutes recording a tutorial for this song, only to find out that it wasn't recording this entire time anyways, so I'm gonna try it again. Okay, so if you can't tell by the name of the title, today I'm gonna be showing you how to play Matilda on ukulele, like the version I play in my cover. Why don't we just get right into it? So the chords for the first like verse and chorus and are gonna be just a D chord, but we're not gonna play the top part of the D chord because this is gonna be just for the finger plucking part of the song, but use the same fingers you would as if you were playing a whole D chord. So that's your D chord and it's gonna sound like this. And then there's also gonna be just a normal D chord. So that's gonna be the exact same chord just with your pointer finger on the second fret of the G string. So it sounds like this. And then we'll have a D major seven chord, which is same chord, you're just adding the seventh note. So you can leave all your fingers there or you can bar that second fret and then move your last finger to the fourth fret of the A string. So it sounds like this. Those are gonna be the D chords in the song. And then we have a G9. So this is in the plucking part of the song. It's almost the exact same as that very first D chord I showed you, but you're just gonna slide your ring finger up to the third fret and it sounds like this. And then there's going to be a B minor chord, which sounds like this. And then F sharp minor sounds like this. And then we have G major seven, which is just, you can just bar at the bottom three strings on the second fret, or you can use your individual fingers. And then a regular G chord, which sounds like this. There's an F sharp and that is kind of a trickier chord, but you're gonna wanna bar the bottom three strings of the first fret with your pointer finger and then play the rest of that. And then we have an E7, which is kind of a fun one. And then an E minor, it's kind of like a staircase chord. We're going from the fourth fret of the C string to the third fret of the E string to the second fret of the A string, and it sounds like this. Those are your chords. Okay, so let's get into the first kind of half of the song, we'll say. So for the first half, if you've seen my video or you've heard the song, it has kind of a finger plucking pattern in it. And you're gonna go back and forth between that D and G9 chord. And then the very last time through, once you're in the chorus, you're gonna play a B minor chord. The song has some really nice harmonics in it. For this type of harmonic, we're gonna play it 12 frets above the note we're playing. So if we're on the second fret, that means we're gonna be playing the harmonic at the bar line, 12 frets above. Okay, so to play harmonics, you're gonna use your pointer finger to kind of hover over the string. So you're gonna to touch the string and kind of like you're tapping it. And I don't have the skills to actually tap, so I like to use my thumb to pluck it. So let's say we're doing it on the E string and we have our second fret of the E string, which is an F sharp. So we're gonna to want to octave that by having our finger above the 14th little bar line. And you're gonna kind of like touch it lightly. And then with your thumb, you're gonna pluck the string kind of where you would normally pluck strings, but with your thumb. And then you're gonna pluck it and lift your finger once you've plucked so that it can have that ringing to it. So it sounds like this. Okay, so for the finger style pattern played in this song, I'm using these three fingers to pluck on each of the strings and then adding in the harmonics as we go. So I'm plucking the C string, E string, A string, C string, and then harmonic on the second fret. So that's the 14th kind of like bar line here. And then I'm plucking the C string once, and then I'm moving my finger down to the first fret of the C string. And I'm gonna pluck the harmonic on the 13th fret instead of the 14th fret because we wanna stay to one octave above, which is 12 frets. And then you can pluck the D string again if you want, or if you wanna just let it ring, totally up to you. So together it'll be one and two and three and four and. And this is only for the intro section. The verse is gonna be a little bit easier. So I'm just starting with the harder stuff and then it'll get easier as we go. And then the second half you go, slide your ring finger up to the, you're gonna play that G9 chord. So pluck the bottom three strings in that same pattern. One and two and, and then you're gonna to go to harmonics again. You're gonna play only on the C strings for the harmonics. So you're gonna go straight to the first fret of the C string and then pluck an octave above and then place your finger on the second fret back to the G9 shape and then play a harmonic again on that 14th. So one octave above that. All together, it sounds like this. Mm -hmm. 
And then the last time I play it through, I like to use that top G string, the top string here, and place my pointer finger on the second fret of the G string and play a harmonic one octave above that, so on that 14th bar. And that's the entire intro. So once you know that, the verse and the chorus is a little bit easier because you don't need to move your finger to the first fret of the C string anymore. We're gonna stay on the D chord and the G chord, just going back and forth. For pretty much the next few verses and choruses, you're just gonna keep the same pattern going, which is one and two and three and four and. So you can leave your fingers there and you're just gonna pluck one octave above on the E string and the C string. So that F sharp and the D are gonna stay there and you're gonna pluck that harmonic up at the top. So one and two and harmonic and then pluck the C string and then harmonic on the C string and then pluck the C string again. And then we go to a G9. So you're just gonna pluck through one and two and, and then go back to the D chord. So slide your ring finger back down and pluck the exact same harmonic you play as in the D parts. All together, it sounds like this. So you play through that throughout the first verse and then the first chorus. And then the last time you're supposed to go through the D on the chorus, which is the feeling growing up. There you're gonna go to a B minor. And this time you're actually gonna pluck the top string and the C string, so that G and C string. And then do the same pattern. So pluck, E string, A string, C string, and then the harmonics, same as the D and then go to a G9 chord, which you're just gonna go. So I'll do a quick run through of the intro, the first verse and the chorus, and then we'll move on to the bridge. You were riding your bike to the sound of it's no big deal. Trying to lift off the ground on those old two wheels Nothing about the way that you were treated ever seemed especially alarming till now So you tie up your hair and you smile like it's no big deal the wrong words there but you get the idea so that's pretty much the first half of the song and then you just repeat the verse and chorus one more time and then we get into the bridge I've shown you all the chords so we're gonna go back to a lot of the chords that I showed you at the start of the video we're just gonna do down strums for each of the chords so we're gonna start off on a G major 7 and then you go to a D and a D major 7 repeat that two times and then we go to an F sharp minor two strums, and then a G, two strums, and then we get to the, oh, there's a long, so we're going to a D now, and then F sharp minor, and then G twice, and then you repeat that whole thing twice, then we go back to a D, no, and this is kind of when the chords go a little bit out of the key, so we're going to an F sharp now, and no, they won't. And then to a G, hurt you anymore, to an E7, and back to that D, F sharp minor, and then we'll end on a G9 to kind of have that hanging chord that feels like it's wanting to go back to the chorus. So altogether, the bridge sounds like this. You're just in time, make your tea and your toast. You framed all your posters and dyed your clothes Ooh, you don't have to go You don't have to go home Oh, there's a long way to go I don't believe that time will 
change your mind In other words, I know they won't hurt you anymore As long as you can let them go And that's the bridge! So then we go to the very last two times through the chorus and this part I like to just do down strums like we were doing in the bridge to kind of keep it at that calm feeling that we had. But the chords do change a little bit. So we're playing in G major 7, and then a D, and then an F sharp minor. So G major 7, two strums, D one strum, F sharp minor one strum. You repeat that three times, then the last time you're going to do one strum on the G major 7 and then go to the F sharp minor for one, and then an E minor, and that's gonna be your ending chord. So that is all of the parts of the song. Now I'll put it all together by playing through the intro, first verse, first chorus, and then go straight to the bridge, and then the chorus again. That's the song. Um, if you want to see the full version, you can watch my actual cover of it, which is just on my channel. But also, when I play through that, you can probably tell that not every harmonic I'm playing is super clear. And it is kind of like, I think in the song it is a little bit messy, but also mine is a little bit messy because I am no pro at playing harmonics. I'm just saying that is okay to kind of have it a little bit messier and not have everything crisp and clear and perfect. If you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them in the comments. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you to figure out how to play. It's a super pretty song to play. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video and you want to see more tutorials or covers or I don't know, um, subscribe. Okay, take two complete.